In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create shortcut keys. So whether you're on Windows or Mac, it should be in the same spot, which is in the Edit drop-down here at the top of your uh, screen. And then at the bottom-ish is Keyboard Shortcuts. So we can click on Keyboard Shortcuts, and that's going to open up the Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus. So you can see here we have two tabs. One is for Keyboard Shortcuts. One is for menus, and so you can see that you can actually hide and show items and menus. But let's focus on keyboard shortcuts. So we can look at shortcuts for the application menus, panel menus, tools, and task spaces. So each of these will have different shortcuts. Down here is where you'll find all the shortcuts. So in the application menus, that's kind of like all the drop-down menus. The panel menus is like, for instance, if you have the actions panel open, you have a lot of different modes, like to play an action, you could put a shortcut key on that, etc. And then for tools, that's an important one too. All the tools on the left side of your screen have shortcuts, or most of them do, and you can adjust those shortcuts in here as well, including ones that have the same shortcut. You might notice here, like selection brush tool, lasso tool, all of these have the same shortcut. If you wanted to uh, create a specific one, you could do that here as well. So tools uh, or application menus or any of these will sort which shortcuts you're editing. And then we also have a set over here, which would be Photoshop defaults. So for instance, I don't have any custom shortcut keys in Photoshop right now, but if you do add a shortcut, it's probably gonna prompt you at the end to save, or you also have the options here to save and create a new shortcut key set based on your current shortcuts once you make your edits. And so then that shortcut key will actually be saved. And so let's take a look here. For instance, let's drop down the edit menu. If we can find someone without a shortcut here, uh, like the clear button here. Uh, so if I select this option or action or, or whatever it is that I wanna add a shortcut to, I would click into this shortcuts panel and I would type in the shortcut that I want. Now I'm going to do one first as an example that conflicts with another shortcut. So I will do Command, or if you're on Windows, Control, V. And that's normally the Paste shortcut, which it gives me a warning symbol here. And down here at the bottom, it shows me that Command V or Control V is already in use and it will be removed from a specific place, right? Edit, Paste, if accepted. And so if I accept this shortcut into... Uh, this action, it's going to remove it from the other spot. And so what you can do if you really want to actually adjust this and swap them is you can accept and go to conflict, which means you will accept that clear will be the shortcut and then you'll go to paste and then give that a new shortcut. Or in the upper right here, you can just simply accept the shortcut and it'll just remove it from wherever it came from. So if it's not a shortcut you ever use, you could do that. But in this case, I could change it to something a little bit crazier, like maybe all of my modifier keys, Shift, Option, Command, that's Shift, Alt, Control, uh, I'll do 7. And that's not that can't be assigned because that's in the channels. Okay, let's do J. Let's see if we can do that. A lot of shortcut keys are used already. We're going to find one that's not. There we go. Option, Shift, Command, O. All right, and that's Alt, Shift, Control, O. So that would be me adding a shortcut that's not used anywhere else. And then once I have that added in there, I can just accept it. And so now clear has this shortcut key. And you can see up here, the Photoshop set has been modified. Now, what you'll really want to do is you, I'm not sure if you can actually save all of the uh, current set of shortcut keys to the Photoshop defaults. So let's take a look. If we click that, it looks like we'll have to save our own modified version. So Photoshop's always going to keep the Photoshop defaults, uh, defaults keyboard set, but we can save it as a modified version. And so it just saves into this keyboard shortcuts folder. We can click save. And now we're going to have two different sets. Photoshop defaults, you can always go back to Photoshop defaults. Or you now, I mean, I just named it Photoshop defaults modified copy. But that is now a custom key uh, keyboard shortcut set that includes this new one that I've added and any other changes that you do. You can also delete shortcuts. You can undo in case you accidentally deleted, you know, accepted one, deleted one from somewhere else you didn't realize. Uh, but all in all, once you're done, you can just hit OK 
and accept that new keyboard shortcut. And so that's how you can add keyboard shortcuts to all kinds of tools, actions, and panels and dropdowns here in Photoshop.